Y'all ready for this? Do do do! It's the first of winter, and we're gonna do a whole bunch of post commentary stuff. Not sing jock jams, although that would be very nice. But yeah, it's time to barrel through winter, man. So, just kind of letting this footage play out a little bit to roll into it here. Well, this is the first. It's Crobus's birthday. Who cares? Everybody's maxed out. It's the season of crystal fruit, apparently. But we are about to bleed dry these crops. Because we have way too many kegs and we're only going to get more. And only so many crops. So, yeah, welcome to the death season. There's that pumpkin from the uh, Halloween thing. I put it there and it died. But, remember there was that owl sound? Well, here it is. The stone owl. Not to be confused with uh, Storm Owl from Mega Man X4. Yeah. And here's a look at the greenhouse at the start of the season. We'll see it a little bit later on, but the key thing here, look at the top right. There's a little bit of brown on them near bushes. That means coffee beans, son. And that means you can make coffee. It takes five coffee beans per keg insert to make one cup of coffee, which is kind of weird, but yeah. And then it takes three coffees to make a triple shot espresso, which is actually really good and stacks on top of the spicy eels. So that's kind of what we're doing here. And of course, yeah, I was late to figuring it out, but it gave me time to talk about it. How's the taste, past self? That's right. Well, yeah, we're still trickling in the star fruit where appropriate and otherwise doing ancient seeds. Keg time! One, two, three, four. And then we're trying out the new coffee. It's pretty quick too. By the end of the night, it'll be there. There it is. I forgot that I edited it like that. See, I know what the heck I'm doing sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. Post commentary is easier, I think, sometimes. But yeah, we uh made the triple shot espresso. Could only do one, I think. And that was the first of winter. Basically, I do a lot of coal grinding and foraging or fishing yeah that's the thing sturgeon that is on the list we're about to solve it i was fishing the crap out of that mountain lake and i did not catch a single sturgeon what is that 12 pickled yams i almost said 15. so if you heard a that's what that was day two. Oh yeah the uh trees so we didn't have cherries yet didn't have orange and we need the peach tree so I'm just putting all the tree types in the greenhouse. Apricot was already growing, we are aware of that. And the other ones too. I did buy some vinegar too, for some recipes. And then finally, tried again, and I caught five sturgeon. And remember, this is all for the caviar, so immediately, straight to the fish pond. Fish can be placed into this pond, if you didn't know. Any fish type. But it only let me put one in. Sturgeon is one of the few fish types where most fish you can put three in to start, but sturgeon only allows one. And there's quests and stuff associated with that pond. It just takes time. And now remember the combat thing I was talking about? Another thing I did this day was reset the combat skills in favor of ditching the critical hit percentage and going for all damage. So we do fighter instead of scout for 10% more damage on top of the iridium band. And then this, I mean, the choices are kind of cool, but I still wanted even more damage, so we go Brute. But 25 HP extra would be nice too, I guess. Kind of really depends on what happens in that new volcano, what is it, volcanic, volcano dungeon in the 1.5 stuff. But yep, still rolling with the, oh yeah, we had some, well, one star fruit wine that was ready. But red cabbage and pumpkin otherwise. So moving straight on to day three. A pretty nothing day. There's going to be a lot of nothing days, but... I think I edit... You want to know how long this video file was? Ten hours. But yeah, the key thing of this day was busting out the furnaces. And we need another source of money. So all of these things have so much ore. So they're selling six bars. Iridium bars. And it did help 9,000 for that. So we do a little bit of that and some gold as well. Not too much, but just enough as the whole season goes on. And like, see, there wasn't really much in the way of fruit and wine that time. So that worked out. 
Day four, we went to the desert and we bought 300 Deluxe Speed Grow and uh, 100 Rhubarb because going into spring... Oh wait, no. I did more Rhubarb. I have my notes wrong. 200, I guess. That's good. Because that is the big money. Perhaps even better than cauliflower for spring. And I guess that's all that really happened there. Sold some more stuff. The Iridium bars, that is. Yeah. Pumpkins were still doing pretty well. Next day, the 5th, the cart had a battery, which was amazing. And this also worked out because in the mail, there was a quest for the wizard, and he wants an Iridium bar. It's the Staff of Power quest. It's one of those ones that has no time limit. And the reward is amazing. 5,000 gold is probably the biggest one, and that's empty journal. So really, like, nothing's going on. Uh, what did we do? Oh! I caught sea cucumbers so we could finally do a lucky lunch. Two of them, because I only had two blue jazz in the fridge. I sold one of them just to mark it off on, like, what you've sold list. Ah, yes. And then it finally happened, she asked... Should we have a baby? And I wait. I lingered here for like a minute. Cut it down a little bit. But I did say yes. Because babies are very low maintenance in this game. They have phases. Very much like Harvest Moon. And the first phase they just sleep. The whole time. So there's you don't even have to talk to them. It doesn't matter. But I mean. I guess. Mentally it's nice to talk to them. Ancient Fruit Wine. We got a few of those. So see they're kicking in. 2,300. Ah, and here we go, on the 6th. Bring a diamond to the pond. This is what I was talking about. The fish pond has quests. This is how you grow the population in there. So, after the uh, preserves, we check in on that. And you see, I was already out of yams. I was out of yams and pumpkins by this point. And it's only the 6th. So artichokes are pretty good, though, too. So we were rolling with those. Then we came and got the diamond. And that increases the capacity now. So now it goes from one to three. I believe, maybe it takes some time. I forget already, honestly. Yeah, I sold a lot of gold bars there. Might not be the smartest decision because they don't really go for too much. But yeah. Strawberry wine. Still rolling with those strawberries, but they were even starting to bleed low. Because the number of kegs to strawberry plants is like... The kegs are outdoing the strawberries. So day seven. This was a Sunday. We got a new queen of sauce recipe. The one I've been waiting for. Oh yeah, and the ice festival is the next day. So it is the poppy seed muffin, and I did save some of the poppies. There are a few people who like that, or love it, I should say, one of whom is Leah. So I made what I could and gave her one, because, I don't know, it just feels good to give them varied gifts every now and then. Looks like it would be pretty good, I don't know. Oh yeah, look at the fridge. It was wrong with ancient fruit, but the strawberries were getting low. I mean, the cranberries. So many of those. But I took all of the jade that I had, because it is a Sunday, and I traded them for staircases. And this is going to be a thing to keep in mind. I think by this point, I can't remember, I think I replaced all of the crystallariums with jade. And now, since we're so bored, we started doing this. Bringing the daily cloth in with something, and I found a rare disc somewhere. And I looked up on the wiki what it creates, and that's how you get the tuxedo. So, like, what he was wearing at the wedding cutscene. So I was just trying out, making different shirts to see if I could get something new. I mean, it's neat, but I went back to Charlie Brown. But we still had more cloth, so we went back. And this thing is something I've wanted for a while. Remember the beanie? Well, if you take any of the syrups and combine it with cloth, 
you get the other beanie, which is the loose-fitting one, and it's always red. I don't know if you can dye it. But I kind of like that one. And it kind of does have a Charlie Brown look to it. It kind of reminds me of, like, Linus or somebody. But perhaps clashes with the yellow. Not really sure. But I kept it on for, like, the whole thing. That's my new hat. And that was the seventh. Low money day, so yeah. And now the eighth, remember, was the festival. So, checked out the shop with all of our money. Why not buy a Christmas tree? I bought, like, every decoration thing here. And even the food. There's, like, cranberry sauce and stuffing, I think, in here. And I thought about it for a while, but I did end up buying it, which is a waste of money because I could just make it myself. But... And then, the fishing contest, which is pretty slow and boring. But I caught six, and that was enough to win it. So how's it taste, Willie? You don't win two years in a row. Yeah, so we're kind of like in the dead part of winter where not much is happening. But the prize here, speaking of sewing things... Six big slimy fish. You got a sailor's cap and some lure. Which is nice, I guess, if you like the fishing thing. There's kind of no point to it anymore, though. That was day eight. In the meantime, before that festival, we got a little bit of the pumpkin juice, unless it was red cabbage, I don't know. Well, yeah, and I was starting to do beer, bleeding into the wheat that was in the fridge, just to save on other crops. The ninth was a dead day. Nothing happened. Probably just farmed for coal in the mines. And the tenth was pretty much a dead day, too. I think we skip right to the... Yep. I wrote down geodes. I spent that day processing geodes, which I guess we're going to see here, because look at all that stuff. And by this point, I changed the fertilizer chest that had all those dumb fish in it. Th see, I sold them all. We caught that briefly. Look at how many pumpkin juices came in. 29, dude. That's crazy. But yeah, now that chest was storing some of those things that I wanted to use on the sewing machine. Just to see what would happen. Speaking of, next day, it's really the highlight, man. So the Kyanite, this blue one, I couldn't remember. Like, prior to starting the recording, I was looking at the wiki, and I was trying to remember which ones looked neat on the list. But that one's kind of cool, blue bandana shirt. And then the Helvite. This one I actually roll with for a while. The classy top, but I don't know, it has a weird name. The blue kind of works. I like the blue handkerchief thing. Man, yeah, this is like some velvety thing. Which makes me wonder, is it even a masculine shirt? But it looks good. I like the red. So yeah, it's my new, for the whole winter season, this is pretty much my look. But we do test out other things that the sewing machine can do. And by this point, I was getting so much crap, so I made another chest, painted it green, and moved all the hats and the shirts into it. Kind of like a clothing closet, I guess. And there was still time. It was only 4.20. So, time for more kegs and another trip to the sewing machine because the sheep wool was still cooking. Yeah, see, I was undecided still. I was like, I kind of want the blue shirt. But ended up sticking with the red one. Made a whole bunch more kegs. Also moved that Christmas tree in here. Luckily, I think I had just enough ancient fruit for this. Yeah. And then back to the sewing machine with an opal to see what that would make. Something blue. I don't even remember, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah. I think that's one of the shirts you can choose in the beginning of the game. A lot of them are. But there are some things you can only tailor. That's a neat shirt. I used to have a shirt like that. So that's day 11. Another very weak day. I don't even think I bothered expanding. No, I did. Okay. 
The urge to pinch your fingers together in excitement is just too great. So what are we on? 12? 12, my notes are mind, which means we're probably going straight, yep, to the stats screen. Went to the skull caverns, I guess. Building up the various minerals. Ancient fruit wine was coming in, star fruit too. And moving into the 13th, sewing was the highlight again. Had a lot with me this time though. This one's crazy. Obsidian, it makes a studded leather vest. Which, if that's your thing. I guess it could be cool. I don't think you can choose that from the starting menu, so there's an example of one that you need to do it that way. And then I had the green little thing and the basalt, or whatever it is. This one makes a kind of link shirt. A green shirt with a brown belt. There is one that is meant to look like Link that you can pick from the start of the game. I don't think that's the one, though. And then, of course, the last thing I had on me. Some kind of gray shirt. It has a weird fold to it, though, so I didn't like it. Then went back to the red one. Oh, we're not done. Oh, yeah, these are the two that are good. I looked it up at that point, somewhere in between that cut, I went back to the wiki, and the emerald and fish stew make a cool shirt. This is the green one of it, and the other one's like the same thing, but blue. I don't know, I was just looking at the tiny pictures of what might be cool. So kind of a neat, not with the hat, you need a different hat with that shirt. But fish stew, which I don't think I ever showed that I made, but I did. Still working on cooking all the recipes. That makes maybe a slightly different... No, I think it is the same exact shirt, just blue outside. That works better with the red hat, though. So I thought about it, but still kind of preferred the red for some reason. And now finally, the fish pond becomes relevant again. See, it's got a thing, a new quest. Bring two maple syrups, there's now three fish in there. So this is how we expand it. They still had not produced any row. Your chances get increased as the population increases. And remember, I caught five. So, uh, I think we see here. I think it's immediate. After you give them what they want. They thank you. And then, yeah, immediately the population expands by two, usually. And since I had them... I went and artificially increased it. I mean, it increases on its own, but you can speed it up if you have them. Because there is a timer, I think, that resets when the population changes to something new. And that was pretty much the big thing of the 14th. Pretty standard money day, too. Ah, oh, yes, and now it's time for the night market, so we're going to bleed right through this as quickly as we can here. Obviously, capitalize on the three free coffees. I didn't do the submarine fishing, because what's the point? Unless you really want those rare fish that you can only get here. And since we had the money, I pretty much bought everything out. All the candy canes, at least. There's a lot of, like, seasonal plants that are kind of stupid in here. The torch we get. But we also have the traveling cart lady and that rare artist. And, uh, yeah. Overall, the night market was pretty good. Like a real life night market. I actually bought some things that were good. I think you could watch the mermaid show again, too. But you can't get the pearl again if you already got it. So I didn't even bother. But yeah, this first day of the traveling cart was very good. Got an eel. And a battery pack. And some kind of cloudy painting here. Why not? Clouds is what it's called. Great. And then this is the springtime crop day. So some random stuff. Should have bought that stone frog looking at it now. 
So this is the second day. Now we're on the 16th. A thousand years from now painting. The cart didn't have anything. But then in here, there was the stone parrot. And since I have the stone owl that landed on the farm, I went with the parrot. That's why I'm thinking I should have realized the frog was there. And then the final day, 17th now. I did get the coffee the other day too, just didn't show it. So between those three free coffees, that's one triple shot espresso, which is pretty good. I can't remember if the cart had anything good. Bruschetta, we're gonna have that soon ourselves. Oh, another battery pack, yeah. Started having battery luck, that's right. And then one more painting. What is this one called? Three trees. And there's the stone owl. We already have something similar. I don't think it's quite the same. So now we're on the 18th of winter. And we have another fish pond thing. They wanted three Omni Geodes. And now they could hold seven. I think I only had one remaining, so I couldn't even fill it up to seven, but they fill it up themselves pretty quickly. You can see I put the candy canes there, too. And the rest of this day, we went to the Skull Caverns, and I actually died in it the first time, and I scrapped the recording and had to replay the day. Which sucks, because I found a lot of cool treasure floors, and I didn't get it the second time. I got another auto petter, and cactus seeds, and then I died, and the second time I didn't get any of that stuff. But yeah, look at that. Ten ancient fruit wines. That was a very good day. So they were starting to come in. Day 19. During the night, Leah gave birth to a baby boy. So that was the big thing here. I was torn between Benjamin and Christopher, but I went with Christopher. I don't know why. I don't have a kid in real life, and if I did, I don't know what I would name it. It's not really my decision, I don't think. At least not exclusively. <laughs> and I guess that was pretty much the highlight of that day. Oh yeah, we skipped it. That happened at the end of the 19th, so now we're on the 20th. It's the first day to see the kid. Let's see, I was trying to put some of those decorations up. Got a new table and everything. Everything went well, so yeah. I'm assuming that's what it always says. Oh yeah, phase one of baby stuff, it just sits in the crib asleep at all times. So it always says, whoever is sleeping. And I forget how many days until it enters phase two, and you can actually pick it up and throw it in the air and stuff. And then eventually it starts crawling around, and you can never gift your child, though. And I guess that was pretty much the only thing that happened on the 20th. It says mines here, so I guess I went mining again. That would explain the rabbit's foot. Pretty decent money, too. More. Look at all that ancient fruit wine. So, now we're on the 21st. Rapid firing this man. Got a ton more kegs to fill out the little Christmas room. And went coffee bean, and I learned something. Those corner ones, at least on a console. You cannot put the coffee bean into the corner ones, but other stuff works. And then also, a new recipe that I almost missed, because we're already like partway through the day here. But there's the bruschetta, finally! It's actually a pretty good recipe, too. For like, basic health recovery and no buffs. Well, maybe not 50 health. Well, yeah, I made a couple of those. I think I came back and made more bread at some point, and it made even more. But now we're on the 23rd. Didn't even bother showing the statistics screen. We got Sturgeon Row, finally. And actually, this wasn't the first Sturgeon Row. I was skimming through the footage really fast, and I think I forgot to include the first time it popped up. So one's already brewing. And this is kind of just a look at the greenhouse. 
See a lot more ancient fruit seeds. And the trees are coming along. But yeah, the sturgeon row was becoming pretty regular as well. And then it was back to sewing. We got Neptunite. Some kind of a black shirt I think this creates. With a collar? I can't even tell. These things are so... It's a wearable shirt. My gosh. Yeah, that one's kind of dumb, actually. Maybe with the sailor cap. Or a chef hat, maybe. I don't know. I was just trying stuff out out of pure boredom, really. And curiosity. So day 23, lots of money that day. Wow. Must have been the ancient fruit wine again. Not, well, yeah, there was a decent amount there. All right, so now we're on the 24th. This might be the last time we go sewing things. Maybe not. I don't know, but that's the Thunder Egg thing. Not a bad shirt, actually. Purple with, like, a light purple stripe. It kind of works. But I don't know. Something about that red shirt, I was stuck on it. And then it was Christmas, so what are we on here? We're on the 25th already. And Evelyn was my secret person, so gave her a diamond. I also bought some things from Pierre at his little shop stand that was set up. And oddly, Leah was my secret person. I don't know if it's always like that. It's always going to be your spouse. If not, I don't know. Oh, I forgot to show what Kent said, but yeah, it's not like he said anything riveting. A glow ring. That's actually pretty good, but I mean, a little late. We've got so many better things. Yeah, it's kind of a nice thing, I guess. So we're almost done, man. 26th. Got another fish pond quest. The row is coming in good. Well, and it wanted a Nautilus shell, and I knew in advance and saved one, thanks to the wiki. And I think this is the final thing. The final phase of the sturgeon pond. Every fish type has, like, three or four quest things. So there you go. And then they'll just auto-populate to 10, which is the maximum on their own, because I wasn't going to bother catching more. And the caviar is done! And we're going to brew more. So this is the first caviar. And you know, that's for the missing bundle. But yeah, you can see, look how bleeding dry. No artichokes, no yams. I brought in the potatoes and corn. I was trying not to touch the cranberries because I know they're not the best. So I was kind of just holding on to them as a last resort. But here we go. Everything else is in here already. This is the last thing, the last bundle. And it's done. Pretty much the completion of the standard game before any updates. All the others made it back, except me. Now, I can go home too. Thank you, thank you. Please and thank you. <laughs> so dumb. Another trippy animation, though. It's pretty crazy. Something good will happen soon. Yep. So the abandoned Jojamar is going to become something else that is pretty irrelevant, but I guess kind of neat. It's good for building friendship if you haven't yet already. And then we just did some more sewing. Oh yeah, this one, Jasper, becomes my new favorite shirt to go with this hat. A bandana shirt, again, just like the blue one we made, but this time it's red. And that little extra touch of blue or purple? Pewter? I don't know, I like it. So this is my new shirt. It's what we're rolling with. 
Although part of me is slightly bothered that I didn't stick with Charlie Brown from start to finish, but eh, well. And there it is, being fixed up, the last Junimo thing. And the 27th was just a dead day of coal and whatever else, but we had some good money coming in still. Oh yeah, look at how many starfruit iridium wines were ready that day. That's crazy. So, I mean, money is no problem, but yeah, by this point, the crops were in the fridge and everything were really low. So yeah, don't even show the 27th because I think I really did just like maybe forage and get coal or something. I don't know. So that is that. Next time is the finale of the standard game until I do 1.5 stuff. So see you then.